know you've heard stories about me. That I'm a liar. A manipulator. <laughs> that I poison people's minds. Well, let me tell you a different story. A true story. There once was a young woman who had been ostracized by her community, bullied by friends, abused by her family. She took to a needle for help. She was all alone. She wanted to die. And she met the father. <laughs> he gave her hope and confidence. The father showed her how special she was. She was full of love and life. He gave her a new family, one that accepted her just as she was. The young woman no longer wished to die. She had been given. One day, the father brought her here. He asked if she had faith in him. He asked if she would be willing to die for him. The young woman who very much wished to live was scared. The father told her this was her task. He would have faith in her if she had faith in him. So she closed her eyes and left. <laughs> the father kept his word. The path to Eden is clear to those who have faith. Walk the path. give you purpose. I will set you free. speaking. Anyone looking for refuge? This is... Do you feel different? Do you feel alive? The first step is always the scariest, but we all have faith in you. Follow the pilgrimage. Walk the path.
the medic. Rook? I need more ammo. You really saved our bacon. They've been throwing themselves at these walls for days. Just won't let up. They already kicked open a hornet's nest. Drugs on the road! Damn it! Medic! Rook, I need you up on that wall. Rogers, there's an Arkweller somewhere inside. Footy was using it last. Get on it. Now you're with me. Let's start collecting scrap. You have to pull the doors off some of the cells? Do it! Now hop too! We ain't got much time. Your problems? No. A couple of the Peggy scaled the wall, but we got him. Door. That doesn't look too bad. He'll be all right. Just keep pressure on him. You know, I was gonna retire last year. I was worried I'd get bored. Are you gonna introduce us, or we're just gonna stand around here all awkward and shit? Language! Oh, fuck off, Virgil. Not today. I have told you, a vulgar mind is a sign of... You're not wearing your button! No, I'm not wearing it. I'll need a casualty report. We're, we're cougars! We're really not. Look, I'm wearing my button. The sheriff is wearing his button. This person... I'm sorry, who is this? This is one of my deputies. I thought you said your deputies were taken. Well, this one wasn't. Been giving Eden's Gate a hell of a time from what I hear. That's so. Well, I hope you plan on pitching in. No room for freeloaders. <laughs> oh, Tracy's all right when she gets to know you. She's right about the work, though. There's plenty to be done around here. Just ask around. Good to have you back, Rook. Okay, then. Howdy, bud. My granddad talked about... Rook, you're doing a hell of a job out there. But Faith doesn't like disobedience. We got word there's an armed patrol cruising the river, and it sounds like she's called in the Chosen. The toughest the cult has to offer. 
Deputy, Be none of my business, but you might want to ask Virgil or the others for an update. Gonna make you hallucinate. They know if the you're breathing for too fight. long. Well, you could wind up like the marshal. Boy, horse out. This is not where I thought I'd be living out my last days on Earth. Chilling under a shrub. I shot him. I'll never forget the guts. Poor little body panting madly while he died. Come here, Sec Rook. Gonna be honest. Never thought I'd see you again. After the crash, I. I just remember fog. Then walking in a field. Then I saw her. You've seen her too, haven't you, Rook? Whatever she says, whatever she promises, it's a lie. Stay away from her, you'll end up just like the Marshal. The bliss. It makes you forget. It makes you feel free. You just want to stay there forever. But it isn't real. None of it. If Virgil and Tracy hadn't found me, I'd still be out there, swimming in a sea of bliss. A prisoner in my own head. Those two saved my life. These cougars, they're good people, but they're hanging on by a thread. We gotta help them, Rook. No one else will. One last thing. We had a doctor. Well, a veterinarian, but he's doing his best. Guy went missing a couple hours ago. Don't know why, don't know how. But keep an eye out for him, would you? Hi there, miss. What's... Glad you were at the jail to help out the cougars. Who'd have thought the old prison would be... Don't hold out for the resistance. <laughs> Your sheriff seems to know what he's doing, though. Tracy, I've seen around. Mostly keeps to herself. And Virgil... Well, he's Virgil. I don't care much for politicians. Do what you can to help them out. I'll be in touch. You drive better than you shoot. That was a joke. Working on my people skills. Heard explosions out by the old radon mine. Thought it was. Nice to take a breather.
Thank God you came along with me. saving me. My name is Dr. Charles Lindsay. I'm part of a group hold up south of here at the old gym. Faith and her angels have been trying to get to us for days. I was out here looking for a way to stop them when the cult took me. I think I found a way to bait the angels, but the ingredients for the bait are in my bag and the cult food in the pond. And I... I can't swim. I know. I know who can't swim, but I need you to go get it for me. Might have a fighting chance against Joseph C. Brain Dead Goons now. S sorry, We're my name's company. Charles. Everyone calls me Doc, but I'm not. I'm not that kind of doctor. I'm a veterinarian, but right now I guess I'm the resident yard ER doctor. <laughs> Stitching up bullet wounds is a lot different than delivering calves. That's for goddamn sure. Sorry, doesn't matter. Here's the deal. I stumbled on something that seems to attract the angels, which means we could herd them. I went out to try a field test, but things went sideways. Fucking cult. <sighs> I'm missing ingredients, and if I stay out here, I'm just gonna wind up dead. I have to get back to the prison. Can you help me? I've got the list of stuff I still need. If you could find them, we may actually have a chance at surviving.
Good God. What was that? I believe it's... Liberating some assets, huh? Seriously, you sneak by an angel if you're careful. As long as they don't see you, they're calm. Over here! Please! Send the father straight to hell. Faith controls people with forced labor in a drug called the Bliss. 10-4. I got your six.
Um, hello? An older white woman has requested assistance. Are you just gonna ignore me? What has this country come to? Those miserable shits raided my place trying to kill my peaches. Now she's raced off for her- Hey, don't go pointing that thing at me fast! That's right! Just leave me here and let the Grim Reaper take care of me! Peaches! Peaches! Don't rush on my account! Miss Mabel Just lives leave here. Me here. She ain't the Can nicest person, but she makes a good moonshine. Hi, Mabel. It's finally happened. Noodle passed away last night in his sleep. I can't imagine my house without seeing this big dumb baby lazing around the place. For one day! Finally some help. Took you long enough. Are we listening? Those miserable shits raided my place trying to kill my peaches. Now she's raced off for her revenge. If I know Peaches, she's gone off to chow down on those hippies. She's probably lounging at the nearby campsite. It smells like armpits and processed meat down there. So those Eden Project losers can't be far away. Go on and find her now. Be sure to take her treats with you. She's just like that little drubbing whore at the marina. She'll follow you anywhere if you give her a treat. Now go get my kitty back. This rifle's been with me through thick and thin. Preppers are all crazy and stupid. I couldn't imagine anything worse than being old. If we had a peggy boat lot. That was close. Ladies to be the biggest cougar around. Hello. <laughs> Who named?
name's a killing machine of peaches. The Peggy's thought they have control of this part of Hope County. We're proving them wrong. I'm moving. Gonna get a better view. Switch your position. Can't do anything from here. Cultists! I hope to make it. That could have been better. Finders keepers, huh? I'll be honest. I figured I'd never see you again. Thought you were a little dim in the headlights, but you proved me wrong. Ah, oh, hell. Why don't you just keep the damn cat? I've enjoyed not having to deal with her incessant needs for food and water and attention the last few days. All right, off you go. We're done here. Ooh.